What's going on, ladies? What's up? What's up? It's your man Rico Suave again in another episode of Rico and Friends. For this occasion, we have this brother, the international. This guy is literally a legend. This guy has been around, and like every single dancer that I mentioned, he knows him. Like, this guy is that good. He's so good. <laughs> so, ladies, without further ado, Chris! The legend, the little legend, Grace Legend! <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you? How you doing today, man? I'm doing good, my brother. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Thank you for taking the, the, the time to do this. Like, I know everybody is staying busy, trying to make some money, especially now that the, the slow season is coming up on, up on us. Uh, right. and a lot of people don't notice, but we do experience a slow season, which is like, it's not weather related, but I would say more it's like, holidays when all the women want to be good they don't want to end up in the naughty list that's right <laughs> i was to say more december january february around there right yeah. right 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 i I, I, yeah. I always thought it was weather related when i was up north but now that i'm here <laughs> in florida and it's 88 degrees i'm like why I, what's going on like why are not nobody texting me <laughs> slows down man it slows yeah, down but, i mean thank you thank you for agreeing to this um so yeah. a lot of people are, are watching these videos and, and the first question is like they want to know about the dancer they want to know more about you so tell us who is chris legend who is the legend that goes into these great performances that you do well chris legend is a singer i was a singer i was signed to sony at one time mm, uh, i used to do nice. yeah i used to do r&b hip-hop uh reggaeton i used to do you know spanish back in the days with magic wand uh also right. i was a dancer you know so uh i also modeled so that's why i call me chris legend because i could do it all so oh like know, a magician like a true magician <laughs> exactly you know i was born in brooklyn new york um uh traveled all over the united states i went to a lot of countries as well you know all right right so, so you 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 i know that you are uh you have mixed portuguese on you right do you speak portuguese too or or just <laughs> No, I grew up, my dad was half Portuguese, so I grew up, uh, uh, my dad was born in Puerto Rico, uh, um, mm -hmm. and he was half Portuguese, my mom was half black and Puerto Rican, so I grew up in uh, in New York, so I grew up mostly with Puerto Rican, that's mm -hmm. so um, we only spoke Spanish, really. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. so how long you been dancing? Wow, man, <laughs> I think I've been dancing over 15 years. Or 15 years, man, that's, that's a long yeah, time. From New York all the way to California and all over the United States, Mexico, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, <laughs> everywhere. Man. man, I've been dancing for seven years and it feels like an eternity. I can only imagine seven years, man. That's, that's a lot of body. shows. There's definitely a Part lot of shows. Body, man. Yeah. How, how do you start? How do you how do you decide to make uh, money out of this? Like, how did you all start? Well, I think one one day, uh, one of my boys came up to me. He goes, yo, you're a good looking dude. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you're Hispanic, you talk, I'm six feet. He was probably looking for you know, a boyfriend. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> he was a dancer too, though. Uh, and uh, his name was Punisher and uh, Flavor, you know? So they said, man, you should do it, man. You know, represent for Latinos. And then I said, all right, you know, right. I do it. And I started dancing. I was horrible. <laughs> my first show was horrible, man. Oh, you know? man, what happened in that first show? You got to tell me. Wow, man. It was at Webster Hall. Uh, ah, I know I, Webster Hall. <laughs> Webster Hall. That's when all the dancers back in Thursdays, we had the hot dancers. I was not the hot dancer. I was the first one all the time. <laughs> I was the worst. We went crazy, but I was the worst performer, man. You know, oh, they man. said, man, you bad, bro. You know? <laughs> you know, I think the worst thing I did was uh, I hit a woman in the private part. I, I, I jumped oh, in the air no. and hit her in the private part, bro. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta make them sign awesome. waivers before we go in. <laughs> That's how bad I was. My first year, I was the worst performer, man. I mean, I wasn't Chris Ledger, I was the worst, you know? So, oh, so man. Good. Yeah, I, I, I've, <laughs> I've been through that, man. Like, I remember the one, one time, I think it was uh, the same year I met Desire. We were in Miami, and then I, I remember I came to Georgia driving from Miami, and I hate driving, I hate it. But as soon uh, as I drove here, I had two parties and I had another one. Then Honkomania called me and said, hey, can you work tonight? And I was money hungry. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so all in all that week, I did like 12 or 13 shows. So I was drained. Like my money bag was full, but I was so tired. So then I come to this woman in Honkomania and I pick her up. I do this trick with pick her up on, on top of your shoulders and yeah. I let her go. I, I don't, it might have been her. 
it might have been me. We were too tired, but it looked like this is John Cena. I just went. <laughs> oh my God! You made a I dropped song. her. <laughs> Oh! She was sedated. Oh she was drunk. God. She was like, oh my God, it was so much fun. <laughs> Can we do it again? <laughs> that sucks, man. I know. I was too tired and I didn't even care. I'm like, oh my God, I'm sorry. She's like, no, I'm fine. And I'm like, you're not going to be fine. They're like, tomorrow's going to hurt, but I'm sorry. You know, you volunteer, you move. You know, and it was one of those girls that you, hey. know, you put them in one position and they start moving and then that. Oh, yeah. Situation. And they think they're like 50 pounds, but they're really like 200. They, they, they think right, it's right. easy for us, you know? So right, right, right. That. We, we do the best we can, man. That's so you've right. traveled That's to right. a, lot of, a lot of places in, in different countries too, right? You've That's done right. this work internationally. Uh, yeah, well, I did Girls' Night Out, I did Magic Men, I did Hunkle Mania. So I travel all over the United States. Uh, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, shoot, man. I've been all over Canada. I've been to Canada a few times, Vancouver, Toronto, Canada is awesome, awesome. Have you been to Europe yet for dancing or like Asia? I have not, I have not. Actually, Girls Night Out wanted some guys to go to Australia. Um, mm -hmm. I was gonna do that, but I don't know if the money was right to go all the way to Australia. Right. So I said, now nah, stay in the United States, you know? Right, right. So. It's a, it's, it's a far, far travel, like. A lot of time. Uh, I like to see my kids once a month, or you know, I mean, I go crazy over there, so I won't miss right. you know for a couple of months. I said, nah, I'm good. Ah, nah, uh, see, oh. ah. <laughs> for those that know yeah. Rico, Rico Savi doesn't like traveling. I build a strong <laughs> network wherever I am, and that's where I stay. I, I don't like that's flying. Right. I don't like driving, and nothing. I mean, if someone drives me, but I hate. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's still hard, man. I know how it is, man. <laughs> right. So, so what else do you do besides dancing? Like, do you do you still do some singing or acting? Um, I don't do singing or acting. Or uh, what I do right now is I own my own um, pool business in Arizona. Mm -hmm. So um, I I fix them, I clean them, and stuff like that. So I do that for a week. Yeah, pool business. Nah, come on. Tell me about your uniform. Is that like like the like the movie, like just a jock strap and you just go, I am here to clean <laughs> the pool. Nah, man. <laughs> I have a tank top and I just have shorts and I just go there and just start cleaning all the pools and make sure the pumps are working and everything. It's cool, man. Yeah, it's definitely nice, man. Is, man. You know, you get a couple old ladies sitting on you, you know. Uh, right, it's cool, right. though, man. I got good just people. Jump man. in the pool naked one day, just like, oh, Hey, so I hot, fall man. in that pool sometimes, brother. I fall in that pool, man. <laughs> So besides the first night in Webster Hall, what's an embarrassing moment that you had at a show or something or something that you've seen happen to a lady? Then tell me something crazy that happened. Oh man, I'm gonna tell you what happened, what I seen, which was last year, one of my dancers, because I run the Hunk Mania show in San Francisco, you know, I'm the mm -hmm. manager there. I got some good performers there. San Francisco is one of the top places I've ever been to perform. But anyway, I had a dancer and he's dancing and everything and he puts his girl up in the air, man. She was a big girl too, man. He just dropped her right from the air, man. He dropped her right in the floor, man. She went wow. straight from my head, man. Yeah, the ambulance came and everything, man. It was crazy, man. I'm glad I'm not but the only one. he dropped her. I know, he wasn't the only one, but he <laughs> dropped her like, he, and he's six two, man. He dropped the up there. Oh, no. Boom. <laughs> yeah, and I heard it, bro. I, I, I walked back. I was the MC that night, too. And I walked to the back. I said, oh, shoot, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Call the funeral home. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I thought she was dead, man. Oh, uh, my God. But, yeah, we called the ambulance. You know, we did a police report and everything. And um, any lawsuits it, involved? Hard to get no that lawsuits? Show back and stuff. I don't know. Hunk Mania, I think, is talking to them about it. I think there was. I would think ah, so. Man. Yeah, but that show was hard because we had half our right. crowd leave. Yeah, like. 50 people. No, we had like 80 women. I would say about 40, 50 left, man. We had only like 20 people there. Everybody oh, left man. after the guy dropped it. Yeah, it was tough, man. Yeah, we gotta start you making know? these people sign waivers because like, you know, whenever we do hot seats, like things like that could happen. And it's just like if you went to yes. like a, like a, what do you call it? A carnival when you get into one of those machines, if something happens, you have to know that there's liability on your part too. So, you know, maybe that's, right. that's something that's that we right. gotta start working on, like carrying all these forms. And then we'll be like, give me signature. <laughs> Just collect signatures, you know. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Right, right, right. You definitely have to be experienced to do those tricks. And there's um, mm. there's a lot of new guys trying the stuff that we already yeah. know, and that's when it gets a little tricky. You know. That's right. That's right. That's, we gotta look that's out right. for stuff. So, so what can it's you tell those new guys? Like, what what's like a valuable piece of ex uh, advice you can give them and say, you know what, this is from Chris Legend to you. I wish we had like well, Morgan Freeman voice. 
So I can just like say from, from Chris Legend to you. Well, <laughs> oh, <well>. snap! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, let me tell you something, man. Um, see, the problem is with young performers today, they just want to hit the crowd go crazy, man. They don't want to perform. They don't want to dance. You know how we, mm -hmm. we, we dance? Yeah. I see you perform. You perform, bro. You dance. You, you let the crowd have it. You know, in increments. These guys just want to have crowd have it every second of the of the of the right, stage. Right, right. I tell them you got to perform, bro. You got to feel yourself out. You got to be up on stage and perform, man. Be you, and it takes a long time, man. People don't understand. People think, oh, he's a bad performer, or he's a great performer, but he don't. They don't right. understand that we've been in the game for a while, so that we're mm -hmm. comfortable on stage. It takes years. Right, right, right. Uh, so I would say just practice your craft. Look at all the old performers, man, and, and practice your craft, and don't do nothing crazy, man, and just let let it all come into play when you in the in the show when you're performing just just make sure you 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 give it time you know and let it explode you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. don't just let the crowd go crazy every second you know what i'm saying um it, it's always good when you do a trick when you're doing right. something nice and dancing sexual then boom do a nice trick right that's even better you know what i'm saying definitely man that's i saw you perform something. man and you build it good man you yeah. know I, I wish build. someone would have told me that at the beginning. At the beginning, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> me either. <laughs> I mean, and none of I'll us did. You. I guess we just did a ridiculous show. Like, now these new guys that come around, we feed them so much information that some of them on their first show, they do great. And, and, I, and I don't feel like, bad about it. I'm like, I'm happy because, like, things are going right. We're all going to make money, you know? And this guy well, is not a we can educate them, you know, GQ, Punisher, Flavor. They all saw me in my first show <laughs> and they went like this. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, so. <laughs> so you said uh, that, that you were a little bit of a singer, right? Do you still have it in yeah. you a little bit, singing? Oh, man, I don't think, I haven't sang in shh, wow. Long so, time, man. Will it sound bad if you, if you sing something right now? <laughs> oh, man, let me see. I'm just not gonna go on without you here in my life. That's there it. There you go. go. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. I just wanted something for the ladies, but that sounds really good. Hey, I can't sing high notes no more, bro. I, I sing more baritone now, bro. <laughs> All right, so so a baritone. All right. So normally at this at this portion of the interview, I ask something that you want to tell the ladies, but I think you can sing something like give us like a like a 10, 15 second a, a song, something for the ladies. Let's see what do you have. Uh, let me see. Damn. Uh, damn. I don't know what to sing to them, man. You know. Or, or tell them whatever you want to tell them, but sing it. Like, like sing it. Like Thank you from head to toe. Baby, right. I want that ass. <laughs> 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 Nice, nice. So fresh and so clean. <laughs> I like Bye, it. Man. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Man, the ladies are def definitely love you. Then those who don't, don't know you, they will love you. So to tell them, how can we find you on, on Instagram or social media? How do we find you? Well, they can go to Chris Legend NYC and they can see me there. Uh, I use Instagram mostly. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of my parties, a lot of my shows on Instagram. So they can go to Chris Legend NYC. Sounds good. Yeah, they'll, they'll see it. I'm going to post it right here in the video so they, they contact the right yeah. way. But that's great Got stuff, it, man. Man, it just definitely is a pleasure, man. Like finally being able to meet you face to face because I heard a lot. Of, well, not really, you know, e face, I guess. I <laughs> Well, Rico, man, you're doing a great job, brother, and I love your shows, man, and uh, it was great talking to you as well, and I promise you, bro, it was great, man. All right, man, it was awesome. Thank you for your time, bro. Stay you tuned. got it, brother.